Solana, SOL, versus Cardano, ADA, emerging rivalries as two of the top performing assets throughout 2021. Many people are evaluating the benefits and drawbacks of Cardano versus Solana to decide which blockchain is best. Some focus on the profit making of Cardano versus Solana, while others look at Cardano versus Solana from validators' perspectives and the speed to market. But, which one is the best blockchain? Both Cardano and Solana are at the forefront of Web3 technologies and development. That's why we put them against each other, Cardano versus Solana, to see what their main differences are. Solana, Sol, is a fourth generation blockchain and cryptocurrency that leverages an open infrastructure to provide greater scalability. The network introduces various new and unique technologies to provide users with unmatched transaction speeds and enterprise level security. Consequently, the network has seen considerable growth since its introduction in 2017. The founders aim to create a brand new blockchain that could scale to global adoption. At the time, blockchain transaction speeds were limited to around 15 per second, a throughput that paled compared to Visa and MasterCard's ability to process roughly 65,000 transactions per second. Yakov Yanka and Gokul sought to make a new blockchain that could meet demand at a global scale. Solana now boasts a theoretical peak capacity of 65,000 transactions per second and has become one of the most highly used blockchains today due to its speed and cheap transaction costs. Cardano, ADA, is a third-generation public blockchain and dApp development platform. The platform earned international media attention as the first blockchain to incorporate a peer-reviewed research strategy into its core principles. Today, ADA is one of the top cryptocurrencies in the world. It's common for investors and analysts to refer to Cardano as a third-generation cryptocurrency. Notably, the first generation of cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin introduced the world to a secure decentralized cash system. Shortly after its release, Ethereum entered the market, focusing on dApp development. This was the goal of second-generation cryptocurrencies. Third-generation cryptocurrencies take the lessons learned from Bitcoin and Ethereum concepts and improve upon their shortcomings. Third-generation's cryptos such as ADA utilize new developments such as layered architecture to improve scalability, security, and sustainability. In this way, they create more usefulness, address flaws, and rectify inefficiencies. Solana's architecture aims to demonstrate a set of software algorithms that, when used in combination to implement a blockchain, eliminate software as a performance bottleneck enabling transaction throughput to scale proportionally with network bandwidth. Solana's architecture satisfies all three desirable attributes for a blockchain, scalable, secure, and decentralized. Solana's architecture describes a theoretical upper limit of 710,000 transactions per second on a standard gigabit network and 28.4 million TPS on a 40 gigabit network. Solana's blockchain operates on both a PO and POS model. POS permits validators those who validate transactions added to the blockchain ledger to verify transactions based on how many coins or tokens they hold. PO allows those transactions to be time-stamped and verified very quickly. On the other hand, Cardano effectively attempts to tackle some of the issues faced during adopting blockchain on a large scale. Cardano seeks to rein in issues such as scalability, interoperability, and sustainability by developing design principles and engineering best practices. Cardano could deal with 10 transactions per second in its initial days. But recently, Hoskinson delivered a paper clarifying another scaling answer for the network, Hydra. Hydra is a layer 2 scaling arrangement that uses state diverts to handle exchanges off-chain. Utilizing this innovation, Cardano can measure more than 1 million transactions per second. Cardano endeavors to acquaint norms into the market with empowering interoperability across networks. At present, the platform has principles for overseeing privacy, security, and decentralization. These frameworks incorporate blockchain administration models, framework upgrade protocols, and capabilities. Ouroboros is a new consensus mechanism of Cardano. Ouroboros is a chain-based POS protocol, and it relies on randomly chosen leaders to approve blocks. Like other blockchains, the node that adds the next block receives a reward for its efforts. Solana's proof of history is a valuable innovation in the industry. Moreover, Solana uses a Tower Byzantine fault-tolerant protocol to support the PO, to enable a PO-optimized version of a practical Byzantine fault-tolerant consensus model. The Cardano blockchain infrastructure comprises the Cardano settlement layer and the Cardano computational layer. The CCL is responsible for the governance and deployment of smart contracts and applications. On the other hand, the CSL handles all the network's transactions. Conveniently, 
both the CCL and CSL seamlessly interoperate with zero friction surrounding communications. Also, the two layers can function autonomously. This means that Cardano users can still interact with the network even while one layer is experiencing updates. Solana uses a protocol to negate the use of mempools called Gulfstream. This automatically forwards transactions to nodes, resultantly removing the risk of transactions getting lost or redirected to a mempool. In turn, this helps drastically speed up the confirmation times on the network. Cardano uses scaling infrastructure that allows for continuous addition of nodes without compromising on security or speed. Moreover, as the network grows, theoretically, so will its speed. Solana offers one of the fastest and cheapest blockchain experiences in the industry. Moreover, it hosts hundreds of decentralized applications on its network as the fastest growing ecosystem, showing no signs of slowing down. Cardano is introducing a novel sidechain protocol to extend interoperability with other networks. Using developments from Kias, Miller, and Zindros, Cardano presents the KMZ sidechain protocol. This will enable secure and non-interactive movement of funds from the Cardano settlement layer to any Cardano computation layer or other blockchain supporting the protocol. The native SOL token is used for paying transaction fees on the Solana network. During this process, Solana tokens are burned with each transaction. Additionally, Solana token holders can stake their SOL to become validator nodes. Both of these utilities reduce circulating supply, increasing positive price pressure. Validators receive block rewards in SOL tokens, and any SOL tokens deducted from bad actors on the network are added to the block rewards pool. The coin list initial coin offering offered investors guaranteed staking rewards on their SOL tokens after the public token sale, once the mainnet is live. As Solana is still in mainnet beta, rewards have yet to be distributed. Before the eco listing, Solana Foundation had already received over $29 million from four previous funding rounds since March 2018. Solana managed to sell over 32% of the SOL supply to private investors before the coin list eco. The coin list auction sale sold 13% of the total SOL supply available. Furthermore, 39% of the Solana token supply is dedicated to community incentives and activities. At the time this video is uploaded, the price of Solana today is $106.68 with a 24-hour trading volume of $2,129,368,644. The current coin market cap ranking is number 8 with a live market cap of $33,868,375,822. It has a circulating supply of 317,464,559 SOL coins in the max. Supply is not available. The cryptocurrency underpinning the Cardano proof-of-stake consensus mechanism is ADA. Sometimes people refer to this as the ADA token. The ADA token takes its name from the 19th century mathematician Ada Lovelace. Ada Lovelace is the daughter of renowned poet Lord Byron and is widely recognized as the first ever computer programmer. Anybody can access the Ada token anywhere in the world as a secure medium of exchange that does not rely on intermediaries. Plus, all Ada token transactions are transparently and immutably stored on the Cardano blockchain. Also, with the introduction of Cardano smart contracts and the various decentralized applications they will service, the Ada token will play a crucial role as a base currency across an emerging DeFi ecosystem. Just as ETH is essential for interacting with Ethereum-based dApps, ADA tokens will be required to use many Cardano-based applications. The ADA token has seen tremendous price action in recent months, firmly establishing itself as a top 5 cryptocurrency. At the time this video is uploaded, the price of Cardano today is $1.15 with a 24-hour trading volume of $1,486,966,951. The current coin market cap ranking is number 7, with a live market cap of $38,756,298,738. It has a circulating supply of 33,592,658,049 ADA coins and a max supply of 45 billion ADA coins. There has been an increase in Google searches for a breakdown between Cardano versus Solana. Over the last year, the Cardano native asset ADA has been up by 900%, while Solana has seen a staggering 13,000% increase. Both are performing head and shoulders above thousands of other blockchains in the industry. It is best to gain a comprehensive understanding of how each ecosystem works and their innovative features. Both projects implement cutting-edge technologies and are at the forefront of the blockchain revolution. At the same time, 
Each project boasts its own advantages. Cardano utilizes peer-reviewed academic research and introduces novel protocols for a secure decentralized, scalable, and interoperable blockchain. However, the project is still in its development phases. Conversely, the Solana mainnet hosts a variety of applications and offers one of the fastest and cheapest blockchains in the industry. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. So, are you Team Solana or Team Cardano? Let us know in the comments section down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos, then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest cryptocurrency news. Thanks for watching. We hope you have a great day today, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.